On today's episode, we are going to take a look at three stocks that are growing at crazy levels and they're looking super yummy right now. So like always, for each company, we're going to try to understand what they do, a quick look at their fundamentals, and I'm just going to share my overall thoughts. So let's get started. All right. So the first company we are going to take a look at is Tattoo Chef. This is a plant based company right now. You might have seen some of their products in some of the big retail stores right now. They are expanding and getting into new stores with new products. And they're also making some strong acquisitions, which we are going to see in a bit. Tattoo Chef right now is traded under the NASDAQ as ticker TTCF. It is currently sitting at $20.45. It was up 2.3% for the day, right? It has been pretty, pretty strong for growth stocks. But if we take a look from its 52 week high, the stock is down roughly 27%. Um, so it's still seen a crazy pullback. And right now it has a market cap of $1.66 billion. If we take a look at future growth, analysts believe this company will grow 33.6% on average for the next three to five years. So this is a nice hyper growth stock. If we take a look at trailing 12 months fundamentals, the company is profitable on gap earnings, but it is not positive in cash flow from operations. So something like this, we have to make sure they have at least a strong balance sheet. And Tattoo Chef doesn't disappoint. They have about $185 million in cash and short-term investments compared to $2.1 million in debt. So this is a huge cash position. If we take a look at some recent news for the company, Tattoo Chef on May 18th launched vegetable products in Whole Foods market stores nationwide. They do mention that Whole Foods has been a terrific partner for them since 2010, and they are excited to officially launch their branded products in their stores so that's pretty pretty impressive the second thing we want to take a look at is tattoo chef just recently made an acquisition of new mexico food i've done a video and i'm going to post the link here where i've talked about this acquisition a little bit in more in depth but in general it increases the products that they're hitting it's also increasing their production line which is going to help increase the overall revenue for the company in the long term this acquisition finally closed and it was for 37 million dollars in cash we took a look at their balance sheet right even with that 37 million dollars down this company is still looking pretty pretty yummy in terms of balance sheet right next tattoo chef did art their earnings on may 12th of 2021 they reported revenue growth of 59 percent compared to the same time last year unfortunately they, they had a net loss of 7.9 million and this is unfortunate because same time last year they were profitable adjusted a beta was also negative and again this is unfortunate because last year they were profitable they do mention that the main reason they were unprofitable in both adjusted a beta and Net and, and net earnings is because there has been an increase in operating expenses. Finally, Tattoo Shift gives us guidance for the upcoming years, and they expect about a 58 to 63 growth compared to 2020. And they are expected to be adjusted a bit of profitable. All right, so the second stock we're going to take a look at is Celsius. But before we go any further, if you want to keep learning about growth stocks and about fundamentals, make sure to hit the subscribe button, the thumbs up, and let me know on the comments what stock do you guys want me to do next. So Celsius is an energy fitness drink right now. And we can see they definitely, very similar to Tattoo Chef, this is a company that is expanding. You might start seeing their cans in, in new stores and some of the stores you, you frequent. And that's because, again, the overall growth this company is seeing. So Celsius right now now is traded under the nasdaq as ticker c-e-l-h right now is sitting at sixty dollars and four cents and it was up 4.8 percent for the day um, again really strong week for growth stocks this past five days i hope the overall momentum does continue right now the company is down a bit from its 52 week high about 13.7 percent but i want to say this is probably one of the first growth stocks that hasn't really been impacted too too much overall the with the overall correction the market cap of celsius is about 4.3 billion dollars and when i say celsius has been such a great play for us in, in this community right i think the first time we enter celsius was around the 13 dollars so from original price this stock still has given 336 percent shout out to bill brent for kind of throwing this stock in the Discord group uh, and then us doing our due diligence and finding out if it's a company we want to hold. So Celsius right now, future growth, the company is expected to grow 34.9% on average for the next three to five years. Another, another hyper growth stock. The company right now, if we take a look at trailing 12 months, is barely, it's, it's not positive in cash flow from operations, but it's almost there and it is positive in earnings. Again, we wanna make sure they have a strong balance sheet and 
Celsius does not disappoint. They have about $31.6 million in cash and no debt to their name. In all honesty, I would wish they had more cash, but since they have no debt to their name, I'm going to overlook that, right? Very, very strong balance sheet, very, very strong fundamentals. If we take a look at their most recent earnings, their revenue grew 78% compared to the same time last year. Their domestic revenue, their seeing growth still here in the United States grew 101%, and they're still expanding internationally. They're, they're, they're not going as hard, but it is up 25% compared to the same time last year. Domestic revenue still makes up, I want to say, roughly 80% of the company's total revenue when international re uh, international makes up about 20%. The company is profitable in adjusted EBITDA, and they're also profitable in net income for this quarter. The final company we are going to take a look at is a recent IPO. I don't think it's five days old just yet, and this is Oatly. But before we go any further, let's listen to today's sponsor. I want to thank The Motley Fool for sponsoring this video. Motley Fool is a company that provides investing insight and stock recommendations for investors of all skill sets and risk levels. You guys know I love finding new investing tools and resources to help me scout out new growth stocks. And right now I have a discount for one of my favorite services The Fool offers. Through the Motley Fool Stock Advisor services, you get access to a ton of expert stock picks. Every month, you'll get two new picks that are aimed at growing your wealth and to help you realize your financial goals. Stock Advisor's average stock picks have done amazing returns. If growing your money is something you'd like to do more of this year, you can visit fool.com slash Jose Naharo or click on the link below for access to my special offer and decide if the Stock Advisor is right for you. Thanks again to the Motley Fool and now on to today's video. So Oatly is another plant-based product. They make dairy products out of oats. Not sure how that's possible, but they found a way. So they have oat milk, which is, pro which is their main product right now. They also have desserts, frozen desserts, pretty much like ice cream, right? I don't know if it can really be called ice cream but not gonna lie i wouldn't mind trying maybe the chocolate frozen dessert to see how it really tastes another product that they have is ogre which i'm guessing is just yogurt out of their oat milk and finally is soft serve and this seems to be kind of a new products as locations are coming soon so we can see they're still developing and expanding so Oatly has recently gone IPO. It is traded under the NASDAQ as ticker OTLY. This stock was up 11.19% for the day and is currently sitting at $22.46. This company did IPO at $17. So the market cap for Oatly right now is $13.3 billion. This is the biggest out of the three we've seen today. And since they are a recent IPO, there's not too much analysts looking at the company. So now let's just take a look at historical. So right now this company is not profitable it's not positive in cash flow from operations so because this company is neither profitable or positive in cash flow from operations we have to make sure they have a strong balance sheet and when i first looked at this balance sheet i was like whoa this company barely has any cash 88 million dollars compared to 263 million dollars in debt so i almost kind of bypassed this company but what just happened this company just announced their ipo they did offering what's the whole purpose of an ipo it's pretty much funding purposes so i believe that in their next quarter when they report earnings we're gonna see a stronger stronger balance sheet with more cash in all honesty i do wish they do pay a good portion of this debt so that's what investors should definitely keep an eye out but if we take a look at historical growth from 2020 compared to 2019 the revenue grew 106 percent so i can see why investors are excited about this company finally oatly did announce some recent news on march 9th of 2021 that they unveiled plans for one of the world's largest plant-based dairy factories and this is going to open up in quarter one of 2023 so this is some time from now in the future but i do believe it's bullish for the case of oatly one thing i do want to mention though is i want to see what kind of expenses is this new factory going to open up all right so now my overall thoughts in my companies and where would i rank them in form of tier tier one being my highest tier three being my lowest tattoo chef i would put it somewhere between a tier two and a tier three so a tier 2.5 so if i was to add to tattoo chef right now right now since it has seen a nice price correction i wouldn't mind entering with a medium-sized position and adding on over time again this is not advice as i am not a professional it's just how i would play it celsius on the other hand celsius i would put it as a tier two stock so higher than than tattoo chef but because i do believe it's a bit overextended right now i would open up with a small position 
add up over time, right, to kind of reduce my risk on, on buying at too heavy, uh, on buying while it's too overextended, and eventually add on till it becomes a tier two position. And the final one, Oatly, since this is a recent IPO, this is kind of new, I would kind of, I would put this as a tier three, right? And I would open up with a small position because it has extended a lot since its IPO price. So a tier three, my smallest position size and start out with a smaller position within that and then add up over time. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. Like always, make sure to hit the thumbs up, take care and see you next time.